Hello everyone. We are into the discussion on the subject engineering graphics under engineering graphics we are discussing a topic called isometric views under isometric views we are going to solve a problem on isometric view of the simple solids this is the first solved problem we are discussing under isometric view of the simple solids now we'll enter into the problem the given problem is draw the isometric view of a square prism of base side 40 mm and axis 60 mm resting on the hp on the base with the axis perpendicular to the hp here this is the square prism its base side length is 40 mm and its axis height is 60 mm now we'll write the data from the given problem here the name of the object to be drawn is isometric view of the square prism the base side length is 40 mm and axis height is 60 mm here the square prism is resting on its base on hp and the axis is perpendicular to the hp the procedural methodology of drawing the isometric view of the square prism is divided into two stages stage 1 to draw top and front view of the square prism and the second stage is to draw the isometric view of the square prism now we'll enter into the stage 1 that is to draw top and front view of the square prism in the case of stage 1 we will draw the top view and front view of the square prism when the square prism is resting on its base on hp and we are assuming the rectangular face say bq or c is parallel to the vp this is the direction of the observer's vision in top view in the case of top view observer is able to see the top base of the square prism say qr and sp because the rectangular face bq rc is parallel with that face containing base edge say qr is parallel to the vertical plane so draw draw xy line of drawing xy line then the rectangular face containing base edge say qr is parallel to the xy line so draw qr side parallel to the xy line construct the top base of the square prism say qp ps and sr here qp is perpendicular to the xy line ps is parallel to the xy line sr is perpendicular to the xy line that is the base side say qp is perpendicular to the xy line ps side is parallel to the xy line and sr side is perpendicular to the xy line in top view the top base say pq rs is visible whereas the bottom base say ab cd is invisible here the base side length of the square prism is 40 mm then we locate the center of the base this is the center of the base and also it is the image of the axis say o o1 after drawing the top view of the square prism then we'll draw its related front view for that draw projectors passing through the point say p q r s and o towards the vertical plane for that as a first step draw projector passing through the point o towards the vertical plane then from the reference line with the given axis height say 60 mm draw a line parallel to the xy line here axis height is 60 mm after that draw projectors passing through the point say p q r and s towards the vertical plane after that locate the intersection points here in the case of front view for the observer the bottom base side say ab is perpendicular to the observer that's why in front view ab side is a point point b is visible a is invisible whereas in the case of cd it is also perpendicular to the observer that's why its image in the front view it is a point point c is visible and point d is invisible pq is perpendicular that's why it image is a point 
and sr side also perpendicular that's why its image is also a point point q is visible point p is invisible point r is visible point s is invisible whereas the bottom base side say bc is visible ad is invisible in the top base say qr is visible and ps is invisible for the observer point b is visible point a is invisible point c is visible point d is invisible then point q is visible point p is invisible point r is visible point s is invisible then the side bc is visible the face edge bq also visible the side qr is visible face edge rc is visible and o dash o1 dash is axis line with this we complete a drawing the top view as well as front view of the square prism when it is resting on its base on hp and one of the rectangular face is parallel to the vp then we'll move towards second stage that is to draw isometric view of the square prism this is the top view of a square prism when it is resting on its base on hp and one of its rectangular face is parallel to vp and this one is the its related front view here the base side length of a square prism is 40 mm and its axis height is 60 mm the first stage is completed that is drawing top view as well as front view of a square prism then we'll move towards the second stage in second stage we'll draw the isometric view of a square prism for drawing the isometric view of a square prism first we'll draw the ground line then fix the corner say b on the ground line yet b draw two axis lines say x as well as z so that these two axis lines makes an angle 30 degrees to the ground line first we'll draw isometric view of a lower base for that take ba as radius with compass b as a center draw an arc along z axis we know that bc also with the same length then with the same radius b as a center draw an arc along the x axis then name this point as a and this point as c after that parallel to bc passing through a draw a line parallel to ab passing through c draw another line both the lines are going to intersect at a point say d drawing bottom base of a square prism in isometric view is completed because the base say ab cd on hp with that the edges say ab bc cd and da are making an angle 30 degrees to the ground line in isometric views the horizontal lines are drawn with an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line and vertical lines are drawn with an angle of 90 degrees to the ground line the method which we are using for drawing the isometric view of a square prism is box method for that passing through a with the given axis height draw vertical line similarly passing through b c and d with the given axis height say 60 mm draw vertical lines after that name this point say p q r yes join pq qr 
आर एस एंड एस पी विथ कंटिन्यूस डार्क लाइन्स then dark the outside lines of a square prism say ap ab bc cr and bq the lines which are coming inside of the square prism are drawn as hidden lines say ad dc and some part of ds line say this portion here this is the isometric view of a square prism when it is resting on its base and hp here a b c d is the bottom base and p q r s is the top base the prism's axis height is given as 60 mm and its base side length is given as 40 mm that is all dimensions are in millimeter